Good morning, everybody. This is uh, for me an amazing moment to, to be the first to speak here at the Inter Traffic of in Amsterdam after so many years. So great, great to have you all. And um, I want to bring some greetings from maybe another part of the industry. It's uh, Deutsche Bahn. So what, what is our idea of Deutsche Bahn to get this mobility transition done? So I want to speak today um, in a short keynote about smart mobility and green transformation at Deutsche Bahn. So what are we doing to get this transformation done? So for me, it's, uh, it's brilliant to speak here in this audience because um, I've been as a visitor in, in, uh, on the inter-traffic in Amsterdam four years ago, and there has been so many changes. So a bit, bit of a background. So I was introduced being director of mobility consulting at DB Engineering and Consulting, the engineering arm of Deutsche Bahn. What are we doing? So typically, mobility consulting is um, developing solutions, how a railway is being operated, how it's maintained, how rolling stock's working. But it's beyond that. It's uh, about the transition to smart mobility and also to include some new technologies, for instance, Hyperloop technology. Um, in this world, I think we are facing four global trends of mobility. This is, in our opinion, it's globalization in both ways. It's digitalization, um, it's urbanization, and obviously, it's the climate change. Today, I want to focus on the two green items. Urbanization, if you had asked me two years ago about urbanization, maybe somebody would have said that everybody is walking in the cities. I think now it's both ways. And climate change, obviously, is, uh, is a really big, big point we have to discuss. But first of all, let me go into Deutsche Bahn's strategy for uh, the climate change or the climate targets. As you can see here, um, we have given ourselves a strategy to become climate neutral in 2050. This means not climate friendly, this means climate neutral. So we want to change all of our processes, all of our operations, including scope 2 and scope 3 emissions, to zero. We know this is a very important aim to be achieved, but we need to do something. We need to be fast. And we are speaking today about speeding up the mobility transition, and that's why we changed our aim to 2040. So um, we decided to be 10 years faster, meaning it's only 18 years left. And we, really, we are really striving to get those things done. Um, we are focusing on four technical items. I need to have to check here a bit. Give me a sec. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, let's, let's start just uh, with the ones we see here. So these are the technical items. Increasing the use of renewable power. This is um, for our traction and for all the other things it's important. The other one, raising energy efficiency. That's obvious. And today I want to focus a bit more on ending, on ending the use of fossil fuels and to touch on new intermodal mobility. These are technical items, more or less. So um, in our green initiatives, we also um, created some aims, some chapters, some fields where we want to go more into detail. I will come to that after a second. This is climate protection. This is nature conservation, resource protection, noise reduction, and obviously social responsibility. I will go into that after a second. First, the most technical item I have today for you, this is our approach to replace all diesel-powered engines. So at Deutsche Bahn, we are running on let's say two-thirds of the network is electrified. We are operating in this network more or less 90% of all operations, but there is 10% left. What shall we do with that? So we need to, we need to change all the diesel engines, and um, we created plans to do this 
with uh, separate, separate ideas. So you can see here we are changing into alternative fuels, diesel hybrid, hydrogen, battery, and a bit of electrification. So, but as you may assume, it's not a one-fits-all one solution. We need to get a dedicated, a dedicated plan for that. By the way, also hello to the audience sitting virtually. So this is, um, this is a plan which is covering, let's say, the typical field of railway operations. But um, the other thing is smart mobility. We always want to, we always want to deliver door-to-door -door solutions at Deutsche Bahn. It's, it's not enough for us to provide transport chains from a station to a station. So smart mobility, last mile solutions, something interesting has always been a pleasure for us to do. So some buzzwords, mobility hubs, urban logistics, innovative mobility. You see uh, in the whole inter-traffic you will find those items. For us, some of them are very much important. Transit-orientated development, for instance, or multi-mobility platforms, logistics as a service, shared mobility, all these words are, I think, very much, very much important. What do we do with that? This is, in my opinion, it's the way to answer the question of the client, of the passenger, what's the best way to reach my aim, to reach my goal? What's the best traffic mode for me? Answering all these questions, having all the engineers and consultants and IT developers help to, um, how can I put it, to provide the best solution for the passenger. We see mobility as a service as a, some sort of umbrella, a mobility umbrella, a service umbrella, to answer the questions, how can I get to the station, from the station, how can I provide a door-to-door -door or a home-to-office solution? So we want to answer the question given here in the question marks on the bottom of the slide and in enabling our passengers, typically our rail passengers, but um, we want to offer a home-to-office solution. We want to have a mobility offer, a platform, and a door-to-door -door offer, which is answering the questions. Every time new, every time related to the actual needs, maybe also to the traffic situation, and maybe today it's from home to the station with the car sharing, and from the station to the office with the bike sharing solution. Yeah, this is uh, smart mobility as we see it, and as you can see, we have been doing this for quite some time. Deutsche Bahn started more than 20 years ago with the first solutions. It's a, it has been a call a bike. It's still, still one of the inter most interesting things. But it's 20 years ago. Flinkster car sharing started in 2001. Then we, um, we introduced our Deutsche Bahn travel app. We invested in own technology. We took share in some startup companies, and so we developed a complete set of, yeah, how can I put it, of apps, of solutions which provide a door-to-door -door modern mobility, including Ioki, for instance, I think it's well known, and also an identification platform, very new, Verimi. For us, the question is, what's next? What's next? What's, what's for today? What's, what's for the next years? And um, the answer, in my opinion, is we need to focus on two items, overarching mobility as a service offerings. We need to go for green measures, and we have to develop smart mobility solutions, new smart mobility solutions. But this is not enough, I think. Um, and um, coming back to the, to the start of my little presentation, it's all about sustainability. So we, we cannot do anything without be being sustainable. So um, this is, yeah, for us a, quick, a big game changer. We added this green sustainability part into our Deutsche Bahn um, process and Deutsche Bahn um, initiative. We found out that the way to climate neutrality is really a mammoth task, and we introduced uh, a real 
big portion of measures. We call it Deutsche Bahn. This is green. We created in, in these fields, in these uh, technical fields and also, also social fields, as of now, uh, 164 measures to be, to be taken, to be developed, to be engineered, to become carbon neutral by 2040. Um, here are only some of them with a number. You can check in the internet, so we numbered them. Um, one ticket for the whole journey, for instance. Still bicycle. Um, Eco-friendly buses. Eco-friendly electric cars, obviously. Um, hydrogen. I could talk for ages about hydrogen trains. And um, autonomous shuttles in public transport. These are paying into the main aim, getting carbon neutral. And to provide for the client, for our passengers, door-to-door -door green mobility. Or just um, using the words of our CEO, train travel is active climate protection. Thank you very much.